And our crew's trying to get off the dock, trying to get the lines released. We've got the mid cleat one. Oh, but nobody grabbed the bow line. Cab's in reverse. And the bow line's caught. We see it happen all the time. Somebody just forgets to release a line. And the next thing we know, they're in a little bit of trouble like we see here. Welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on earth. And that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy, Wavy Boats. It's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp. And today we are visiting 79. And our crew's working. It looks like they might... Yep, we've got the bow line off. Cap's going to reverse again, but the mid cleat's now attached again. And we release one only to leave the other. And I think Cap realized that it looks like maybe he's put it back in neutral. And our guy's going to try and get him off. And finally, we're getting a little push out. Cap's coming out at a funky angle now. He's gonna have to get it turned around. Oh, hang on, everybody. Cap getting a little throttle happy here at the end. And he's gonna hard break it. Almost went into the boat in front of him there. Cap, where are you going? He's turning hard. Is he going to make the turn? Just barely. And our crew should be able to get out of here from here. So our crew here is literally probably on their fifth attempt to hit the dock. And here we go, we're gonna try again. We've had to back in and out several times. And Cap's just been having struggles trying to get this lined up. So we're gonna give it another shot. Cap doesn't look bad so far. Coming in with a nice slow roll approach. Got an okay angle at this point. And he's gonna miss just to the left again. Got to watch out for the boat pulling out beside him. But yeah, he's going to have to back up a little bit probably and come in a little bow hard to try and get this one back around. So our well craft's going to take off and get out of here. But the wind and current's just pushing right to left across the screen today, and it's been giving this captain fits. I don't know why he doesn't just let it do its job and push him to the dock over to the left. But he's going to come back in at this dock. Hard bow in. Oh, they hit the bow rail. They just destroyed that thing. It literally separated from the front of the boat. Oh, man. And the crazy part is this was like the fifth attempt for them. So they were trying to take it easy and nice. And things just did not go their way at all in the end. So our crew's been sitting here patiently for a few minutes. My man on the phone. Our girl in the bow with the lines on the ready. I'm just guessing, by the way, my man's been on the phone that this is a grab and go. We're not going in for an actual dock and pull situation at this point in time. Let's see if they can get away with this one. Here at 79th, security's pretty hardcore. And they typically won't let you do this. If they see you come in and just try and snatch and go some people off the dock... And security will come running down here and put a shutdown on that with the quickness and tell these people that they need to pull over to the marina on the other side. So our guys got the slow roll approach coming in. They got a good angle. Taking it easy. Got to get over the bow rail. There we go. Nice, easy step up. No problems whatsoever on that one. And it does. It's a snatch and grab. We got a crew that's just going to jump on this boat, and they're going to get right back out of here. And it looks like they're going to get away with it on this one. 
I don't usually see the big deal on this, but I think it's just because parking's so limited down here that security doesn't want anybody just leaving an extra car down here as the parking lot fills up. I mean, if you ever try and come down here at 4 o'clock, good luck. And you guys may recognize this boat. This was the same boat we were just watching with the snatch and grab, and they are returning later in the evening. So they've had a nice fun day out on Biscayne Bay. It is packed here at 79th, even though it's dark. Uh, the police are in full force over here, though. All the jet skis that are arriving back now that after it's dark have been getting tickets. It's been a nuts scene. But we see one of the police boats pulling off. And our crew's going to try and get this landed back on the dock. Let's see if they have the same success they had earlier. Coming in, this one shouldn't be too bad. Once again, current all day has been going right to left across the screen. And, man, he's struggling now, though. So Cap's going to try and get it relined up and try and get right back on the correct angle. And here we go. Let's see if this approach is a little better. Not sure what good the fender not being down on the side of the boat's doing. <laughs> Cap doesn't like this approach either. Oh, Cap's kind of getting himself a little mixed up now. We got a little forward reverse action, kind of rocking the boat. Definitely questioning himself. It's a little more difficult, of course, at night. Coming in a little hot. May have to brake check it. And man, lost the angle again. Definitely not the same scene we saw earlier with the nice slow roll, easy dock. And here we go, our guy's off on the bow. Just gotta get those stern lines up there. Hang on, coming! And our boy saves it. I thought they were gonna smack the dock right there, but the guy who jumped off the bow was able to stop it before it hits. I think we've got a stern line up and they should be able to get it pulled over from here. And our crew does look good to go. And speaking of good to go, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.